Hello everybody and welcome back. It's been a little while. Um, unfortunately, I was forced to take a small break because of hardware failure in my computer. I was having an issue with, with my graphics card. It kept crashing and I'm pretty sure I've got it figured out. So it's time to get back to business as usual and get back to uh, playing video games for you guys. I'm still going to be doing this uh, this format, this let's talk about games format that I've been doing, but I am going to actually cut down on it. I only think I'm going to be uploading one or two episodes of this a week because I'm planning to fill the time with something else. So the content, there will be about roughly the same amount of content, but it'll just be more varied. There will definitely be a little bit more variety and cons hoping that my hoping that my graphics card stays uh, cooperative, then things should be moving along pretty nicely. So I'm looking forward to that. It's something I've been wanting to do for a little while, and I've been trying to figure out how exactly I wanted to go about doing it. And I think I found uh, a decent way. So we will be uh, we will be moving forward with that. Anyhow, though. For my return, I figured I would do a video revisiting Fantasy Star Online 2 and talking specifically about the PvP. We've already done this for Dark Souls 3. I believe we actually did the PvP video first, and then we did the video on the rest of the game, the rest of the base game anyway. So here we'll be talking about the, uh, the PvP in um, Fantasy Star Online 2. And you know, kind of, kind of how I feel about it, how I think it, how I think it plays, and more or less, uh, yeah. I um, guess we'll just get right on into it, won't we? Now, with that, all of that said, I just managed to get my uh, Steam launcher for this game up and running fairly recently, uh, and I haven't really been able to spend a whole lot of time yet with the game since I've come back, and PvP is new to me in this game. I, I haven't... When I was actively playing this game previously, it was not uh, a thing that had been released yet. Um, I'm not entirely sure exactly when it was released, so I'm not entirely sure like how old it is, so to speak, but I have a good time with it. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm particularly good at it. I'm not gonna act like I'm in any capacity particularly good at it, but I like to think that I'm at least passable with it. I kind of get the idea of what I'm doing, you know, and as it stands, I've got I've got a base understanding of most of the photon arts that get put on, and the weapons and how they behave and everything like that. So the one game mode that is currently available to play is Emblem Scramble, and I kind of, I honestly, I kind of dig it. I kind of dig the whole premise behind it. I like the way that it's executed. The idea being that you want to pick up the emblems that give you points. And, you know, you have a personal score that factors into your team's collective score. And if you, if you get killed by a player, they steal some of your points. If you kill another player, you steal some of their points. So, the PvP aspect is absolutely there and obviously encouraged. It is, after all, a PvP variant. But... I mean, in theory, you could probably play a whole game with neither team ever attacking each other at any point. You guys could just, like, run around and gather the emblems, and whoever happens to be able to be, do so more efficiently happens to win, you know? But, like, what, what? how much fun would that really be? It's a lot more fun to just start slapping each other. But with that said, it's not always economic for your score to be focused entirely on killing other players, you know? Like, sure, there's the uh, the uh, defensive aspects of it, where you are more or less preventing other people from getting emblems, or worse, killing your team and taking your points from your teammates. But if they themselves don't have any emblems, or very many emblems, you're not going to get very many emblems out of them. The more emblems a character has, the more you can take away when you kill them. So, you want to look for the guys that got the big 1, 2, and 3 over their heads. The one being the uh, one you really want. That's the guy that's got the most points on their team. And the teams are randomized. I'm not sure if you can like party up with somebody and meet them in the Universal Battle Lobby. But, and then, you know, go in as a group or anything. I'm not sure about that. I haven't tried it with any of my friends. 
but um, as far as I can tell, I've, I've just been queuing up myself, and it's been random for every game. And I, I don't mind that. There's like a an aspect to it, but like uh, there's also the whole issue realm of playing games with randos. When you're playing with a bunch of randos, you might end up being stuck with a bunch of ass clowns that don't know exactly what they're doing, or have any idea what they're doing, or care to learn what they're doing, you know? So, in every map, there's a spot towards the center of the map, or in some, po in some area of the map that is more or less just as far from your spawn as it is from the enemy's spawn. And it is functionally the center of the map, because that's where the rainbow emblems spawn. That's generally where you want to be. You want to hold that spot dominantly with your team so that you guys can keep grabbing those emblems as they spawn and gaining points. Grabbing the emblems in your team color or your other team color, that's fine too, but those are only worth like one point apiece, you know? I mean, sure, it counts, but is it really worth it, you know? Is it really, like, worth all that effort, you know? Grab them on the way when you're walking past them, by all means. Points are points, but I wouldn't focus too heavily on them. You know, and with that said, you know, if your team doesn't know what they're doing, then they don't know what they're doing. I mean, that can make things a little frustrating at times, especially if the other team seems to know what they're doing. Like, if you're trying to dominate the central area to gain access to all the rainbow emblems, then your team, they're just like posted up somewhere else trying to like kill people. But the other team holds dominance because they got like three guys over there over the rainbow emblems, that's frustrating. Because you're just watching their score go up and up and up and up, and yours is stagnating because you're not really receiving any backup, you know? And while sure, you can win one versus three fights, it's not easy. It's never easy in any PvP scenario unless you're like considerably overpowered. But everyone here is on a level playing field. Everyone here is on a level playing field with the same, uh, access to weapons. And that's going to bring me up to the next point about weapons. You don't get to pick your weapon going into it. Like, I play a bouncer, and I use jet boots, primarily, you know. But, uh, I'll be honest, very rarely do I end up with jet boots in this game variant. Very rarely. And honestly, lacking uh, certain abilities and stuff that give the jet boots certain functionalities that I more or less rely on when I'm doing the main game stuff, the main PvE, uh, not having that stuff here makes jet boots a little more difficult to use. And with each weapon, you're given access to one single photon art to use. Now, some of these photon arts are like nukes and tend to be like just one-shot hits, like the the bow photon art the, that you like kind of levitate and charge up a shot. That's generally a nuke. That's generally going to knock someone down in one in one go. And uh, the talus. The Talus tends to do some pretty considerable damage if you can get someone trapped in there. I'm not particularly great with the Talus, but man oh man, is it like the bane of my existence the vast majority of the time on maps that it shows up. With that said though, uh, the way you gather weapons is from the little gather points. There's like six or seven of them in front of your spawn. There's six of you. So let's say you grab one and you get an item, or a weapon rather, that you don't want. Jump down and go get a different one from another spot around the map. Don't snatch one from your teammates. Try not to grab more than one of those points off of that first spawn row because other people on your team are then going to ultimately be left without weapons to choose from. And that can be very, very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. But overall, I'm not great at it, but I enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's a good, uh, and, and a good uh, addition to the game. You know, I'm very picky on PvP and MMOs, and I think that they nailed it here. They keep everyone on a level playing field, it feels fair, it's fun, it's an interesting variant, you know, uh, teamwork is important. Nobody I've played with really communicates too much, but that's fine, we'll live. I'm going to continue playing it, uh, perhaps if you also play the game, I might come across you at some point. Who knows? Um, I'd like to get a lot better at it, but you know how that goes. Anyhow, I think that'll do it for this video. Uh, feels good to be back, actually. feels good to be back and doing videos again. So hopefully you guys will grace my return with a like, a comment, a subscription maybe. Maybe hitting that bell button. Grief it a little bit, if you will. And I'll take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And as usual, I will fucking see you later.
updated. 